Hello and welcome back. Thanks for staying with us. Well, the countdown for the aspirational Gaganyaan mission of India has already begun. Joining us on the broadcast is my colleague uh, Shrishti. Well, Shrishti, help us understand in context uh, with the, the previous uh, missions that have been conducted, how significant is this mission and what are the differences? Could you, can you please draw a comparison for our viewers? Uh, yes, so this is uh, the first uh, in-flight test of uh, Gaganyaan TBD-1. This is a test vehicle flight. Mm -hmm. And uh, why this is significant is because it is the first time that the Indian Space Research Organization has, uh, you know, uh, you know, you ha will use a rocket, will use a test vehicle rocket to test the various operations of, of this, uh, of the crew escape system to ensure that in case during the ascent some emergency happens that the astronauts can eject uh, safely and be, uh, you know, and there's no, uh, uh, so everything goes well. Mm -hmm. So this is a test vehicle flight. We are using a single stage uh, test rocket uh, with the, uh, the crew escape system and the crew module on top of it. And uh, once it ascends into the air at about like 12, 13 kilometers, the uh, uh, autonomous eject sequence will get initiated. And the both the units, the crew escape system and the crew module will separate and fall back into the sea. It is this particular stage uh, where the parachutes are going to be deployed. Mm -hmm. uh, two, two parachutes are going to be deployed and uh, uh, ensure that the crew module, which is about a unit measuring about 4,500 to 5,000 kgs, will fall into the sea. There's an Indian, uh, the uh, Indian Navy unit, uh, which uh, which is already on, uh, you know, uh, a, a ready to take action the moment it falls and recover the crew module uh, safely. So uh, this is TVD-1, this is a test vehicle flight. And uh, uh, when the final man flight happens, this is uh, somewhere in 2025, we are going to use GSLV Mark III, or which is now known as a launch vehicle Mark III. Uh, it has been human rated to ensure the safety of the astronauts. Remember, India has plans to take three Indian astronauts into the space uh, for a period of three days and bring them safely back to Earth. Uh, the astronauts have been shortlisted and the training is underway uh, in Bengaluru, uh, where all these astronauts are given different kind of trainings, which is required for the final manned flight. Uh, now, if TVD-1 is successful today, it will be followed by TVD-2 and TV, uh, TVD-3. And there will be three uncrewed missions where robotic payloads are going to uh, be there in this uh, crew module. Uh, crew module is basically a unit. It's a 5,000 kgs unit, which mm -hmm. imitates Earth-like conditions. Uh, the final manned flight it will be pressurized in, in order to ensure uh, you know, that, the, uh, that the astronauts can sit in it. However, the, for the version that we are using today, it's an unpressurized unit because today the objective is to test the crew escape system here. And uh, this is definitely a crucial test because this is first time that the Indian Space Research Organization has assembled the entire unit uh, on this rocket. And uh, they have conducted a lot of tests over the last uh, two, three years. Mm -hmm. uh, remember, Early this year, we conducted the integrated drop test where a unit exactly similar to the weight of the uh, crew module was taken up to an altitude of about uh, 2.5 kilometers using an Indian Air Force aircraft and it was dropped to ensure that the, uh, the parachutes are uh, you know, getting deployed at the right time. And let's say one of the parachute doesn't function, will the crew module still land safely into the sea? And then we conducted another test in August this year to check the uh, drogue parachutes. This was conducted in Chandigarh. Now, all these tests have been co conducted in various places across the country. So Indian Space Research Organization, uh, you know, the work is done, uh, uh, is led by the space agency, but it is, you know, uh, brought together by scientists working in different institutes across the country. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's, you know, something that uh, uh, Indian scientists have been waiting for a very long, long time. Remember, uh, we, we landed on the moon this year. This was a significant milestone. Right. And now we are preparing for a manned uh, mission in late 2025. It got delayed because of the pandemic a bit. Mm -hmm. But if things go uh, as planned, by 2025, we should have the Indian astronauts into space. Now, this is very crucial. Like we have been consistently emphasizing that uh, uh, so far, only three countries have uh, successfully demonstrated it. Uh, the Soviet Union, uh, now Russia, the United States of America and China. And this comes at a very crucial juncture as well, because uh, we are planning, uh, like uh, the government has announced that we are planning a uh, you know, space station of our own. Uh, currently, we have the International Space Station which, where we contribute. Uh, but uh, as uh, the human space flight capability is uh, established, maybe we could look at that as well. So uh, definitely uh, something uh, very significant to look forward to. 
Right, Shrishti, uh, it indeed is a significant mission to look forward to, 